Hello everyone, my name is Kdardar and today I will show you how to use your DualShock 4 controller for World of Warcraft. So, first of all, you're going to need a program which is called DS for Windows. You can download it at ds4windows.com. If you actually visit this site, you don't have to worry, they're going to be in the description as well. Um, you can actually download it. And as a, as already telling you on the front, it emulates a Xbox 360 controller. And that is actually true, but this program does one thing extra. And that is, it also emulates the trackpad, which obviously Xbox 360 doesn't have it, and the Xbox One controller doesn't have it as well. So it does a little bit more in order to get the trackpad to work as well. So that's all cool only thing you have to do is download now and it will directly download to your download folder and the thing what you will do is go to the place where it's downloaded I actually made a map with everything in it and you simply extract it so right click if you have WinRAR you can extract it this is Dutch Windows but this is basically extract here and this is extract in easily so after you've done that, which I'm not doing of course because I already have it, you're gonna get this one. And this is actually the program itself. You can basically put it everywhere you want. I did it on my de desktop because it was a little bit easier, but at the moment I am done with this video. I'm gonna move it somewhere so it, it isn't on my desktop. So. What you're going to do is launch ds4windows.exe And after you've done that, there's going to be a window popping up Which is not exactly this one But it is a window popping up Asking you if you want to have a portable version Or a version that will install in the app data This is basically up to you if you're moving a lot, you might want to use a portable version because it will create a map and in that map everything is in there. You don't have to worry about it. So, after you've done that, you're gonna get this window. I'm gonna assume for the people that are watching this, you never installed a DualShock 4 controller on your PC, so you might gonna need some drivers. So, there's a settings tab over here. And then there is a controller slash driver setup down here, which you will click. And uh, just follow the steps. I only need to do step one because I'm on Windows 8.1. So I only did step one and it was already working. After that, you get the ability to let your controller work with the micro USB cable or over Bluetooth. Just follow the steps down. St down here. After you've done that, you want to check if the controller is actually set up and you can see it over here. The status indicates as how it's connected. If it's connected to a micro USB, there will be a sign of a USB. And if you connect it over Bluetooth, there will be a Bluetooth sign. I connected mine over Bluetooth. I can easily put the cable in it and it will only charge as this is a very good thing. It actually works. Also, there is a little downside on Bluetooth that there can be a lot of interference and especially um, if it goes through a desk or whatever because yeah, your Bluetooth is mainly always down in your computer unless you have an extender in it somewhere on your desk. If you're going to use Bluetooth, I re really recommend a USB extender with a USB dongle on it. So you, you you do have a good connection with it. Although I use mine on my motherboard and it works, but at sometimes it doesn't really work. So I'm actually going to change that and I'm actually going to let it work over micro USB at a later point. But for now it's on Bluetooth, it works, so you have the option for it. So when it actually shows up, you're gonna get uh, everything except this profile, which is called World of Warcraft at me, but you can basically call it anything. So this is the profile which you basically need to load in in order to get all these settings. 
Uh, I wouldn't recommend trying to get these settings yourself because at least it didn't work for me. I tried to get my own settings, but it simply didn't work. So I used this profile and everything worked instantly. This file, uh, I'm gonna link it as well, but this file is actually supposed to be placed at a certain point, especially if you are running the app data version. If you have a portable version, there's gonna be a map called profiles in here, together with your uh, program itself, which you can put it in. But because if you're running the app data version, I would recommend you to go to settings and press your profile folder. By doing this, you will instantly get this one and you can simply drag it in and you ba only thing you need to do is restart the program. Well, I've already done it, so I don't have to do it. But after that, you can select the profile, set it to World of Warcraft, and you're done for DS for Windows. So now we're gonna step over to the part which is called an add-on for your game. It's called console port. As far as I know, I got mine from WoW Interface. There's also one at the Curse Forge, I believe. It doesn't really matter which of the two you actually pick. But I would say get it from the Curse Forge if you can, so you can easily update it with Curse if you pay for it. Or get this version and just check in like, I don't know, one or two weeks every time if there is a new version. Also, they have a new add-on updater. I haven't downloaded it yet. I'm thinking about it, but that's up to you. So basically, you just download it, which I also have open over here, and you will get this zip file. Simply extract, just like what I did before, and after that, you need to drag this map called console port inside of your add-ons folder for World of Warcraft which is basically located at your C drive inside of program files x86 if you use a 64-bit version of Windows go to World of Warcraft interface add-ons and just tr throw it in there then there is one more thing you actually want to test because the program is open, if, if everything is working correctly, if you use the right thumbstick on your controller, the mouse should be able to move. If it doesn't, then there is something wrong with the program. Try to restart it. If that doesn't work, try to start from scratch all over again. Because the right thumbstick needs to be working before you can actually do anything within the game. So. After you have installed the add-on, you're actually going to fire up World of Warcraft. By the way, one little notice before we're actually going to start the game. And that is um, the reason why everything is mapped to the functionality keys on your keyboard towards the controller. Because the, the functionality keys, which is F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, till F12, are basically never used by anyone if there is a possibility for let's say like you are using f2 or f1 a lot for some reason maybe even f1 to f5 in order to heal for yourself on the keyboard i would recommend picking other keys on your keyboard in order to get it working uh, it's pretty easy actually to do because if you're actually inside of the program, which I need to relaunch now because I actually closed it for some reason, um, you can see it at profiles and you can actually edit those. And yeah, if you just are like, well, I'm actually using my F1 a lot, but I barely use my, um, let's say a random button, let's say H. You can actually change that button to H and it will work. It doesn't matter, it's just whatever you prefer. So, that's all what you can do. S simply click on it and you're done. You can s set up a new key. 
but I wouldn't recommend it. I would just say keep it on the F keys and you should be fine. So now we're actually gonna be playing the game. As for the game I want to give you a few little notices because in and on section which I can show you with the controller because I can move it if you're gonna look at the add-ons there's one important thing add-ons like um, Spartan UI, Elf UI and those kind of add-ons can actually really mess up the button layout for this controller so I would really recommend you use something like uh, add-on control panel which is another add-on which you can download I put, put a link in the description as well if you download it you're actually able to select certain profiles for certain characters and that is the most important thing what we want because we want the add-on to be functional and give you a good idea of what the add-on is really about so in this case there's only one character that I use in order to demonstrate what it can do and that's my low level hunter um, I'm actually going to try to use it on all of them but there are a few things which the controller is not superior in and that is healing healing is not possible with the controller well, it actually is but it requires a lot of practice and you're going to need a lot of sensitivity for it so I would recommend it using it for healing classes. BBS classes, tank classes, they are all perfect, but healing specs are not gonna be working very well unless you train yourself in it. So I'm actually gonna fire up the game with the controller. The left thumbstick, if you click it, it's a left mouse click, right click on the right thumbstick is a right click. So actually I already get this screen instantly but actually before you're gonna see a screen with an Xbox One controller and a PlayStation 4 controller because we're actually using the PlayStation 4 controller that's the one we will be using so it's gonna request you to push the buttons so in this case the triangle triangle is set to F12 in this case and you need to press it three times all keys so you're gonna be just pressing the keys that it's asking there we go R1 R2 X share PlayStation button and the options button now that's all done we're clicking this away we can click this away now we can actually see how it performs within the game um, in the middle of your screen over here is the zone where your mouse will disappear as you can see at the bottom there are actually s signs inside of it saying your triangle is doing this, your square is doing steady shot, uh, circle is eagle's eye, R1 is arcane shot, and R2 is mounting at the moment. You can actually change it to wherever you want as long as it's within the three bars that are set up at the bottom. If those aren't up you can actually find them inside of your options which is a very nice menu as well because if I press guide button this one you get this interface and if you go to interface that's this is where things are going to be a little bit more tricky because you can't control that but simply go to action bars and enable all these things if that's up you should be fine so now that's set up for you as well with you can actually now start dragging over uh, your spells where you want to have it so this is actually gonna be easy because I'm just in a noob zone L1 and X actually targets if you want to loot you press the right click and with the arrows you can choose what you want to pick up and with circle you can pick it up. My inventory is full so don't worry too much about it. I'm gonna show you how to pick up a quest as well. So simply right click with the thumbstick and 
pick a quest. As you can see, I can browse through it. So I can press circle and I can say, oh, this looks like a pretty damn interesting quest, so I, I want to pick it up. Or you're just like, fuck, uh, like me at the moment, and you're like, ah, fuck the quest. I can't Triangle. That. And you don't accept it. And that's basically the basics of the controller, like options, it gives you a map, uh, share, open your bags, and there are a lot of more different stuff. Which I would recommend is press the PS button, the guide button, go to controller, and over here is everything what all the con controls and buttons does. Just study them and you should be fine. So there's one more little thing about the PlayStation 4 controller and that is the trackpad. Basically the trackpad can be used as a right thumbstick if you really want to. Or if you want you can simply one time click this and you can just get faster movement up. Which I can't now because... Nope, I actually think it's this one. L1 is shift, then you can drag out the scale and put it somewhere else. So you don't basically have to pick up a mouse and a keyboard to do this. But that's just it. So now that you all have seen ho how it works, what you can do with it and basically what the exceptions are like you can choose for your healing class. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, like it. If you want to share it with your friends, go ahead. Just go share it on Facebook, Twitter or whatever. Or just simply give them the link and let them do it themselves or help your friends out. As well, if you want to see more content, subscribe to this channel. And I will give you more videos on how to, on guides and that kind of stuff. Anyway, have a good one.